Once you understand this, you will master the law of assumption. All right, today I'm going to share with you how it really works. I'll be breaking it down for you based on the teachings of Neville Goddard. And it's actually not that complicated since you're manifesting all the time, right? But knowing the mechanics of how it works will help you get what you want. It's like this. There are an infinite number of states in this world, an infinite number that you could consider to be good, bad, and indifferent. For example, there is a state of health, the state of sickness, the state of wealth and poverty, the states of being known and unknown. They're just states. And everyone is in a state, okay? No exception. Whether they fell into it consciously or unconsciously, doesn't matter. And people usually express their states when they say things like, I'm poor, or I'm rich, or I'm sick, I'm healthy, and so on. But let me clarify something. You are not your states. You are not your states. You are, as Neville says, an immortal being who simply passes through these states every single day, moving from one state to another state. And here's why understanding this is so important. Ready? It's because whatever state you're in, listen, that's what will manifest. For instance, if you enter the state of poverty, even if you're a freaking baller at the moment, in no time, you'll lose it and reap the fruit of poverty. If you enter the state of wealth, even if you're down to your last dime, somehow, some way, money will come. You'll reap the fruit of wealth. If you enter the state of sickness, even if you diet and exercise like crazy and take medicine, still, you won't improve. If you enter the state of health, even if doctors say there's no cure, your body will heal itself. You following? So you can't be in one state and suffer the consequences of being in another state. It ain't going to happen. As within, so without. That's the order. Now, that being said, if all states are mental, you can't remove yourself from your present state by forcing things on the outside, on the physical level. Rather, the solution to your present state is guess what? It's by mentally adjusting your thoughts within yourself to proceed from your desired state. How do you do that? It's simple. Let's not complicate this. Ask yourself, what do I want? What would it be like if it were true that I'm now the person I want to be, that I now have whatever it is I want to have? And when you know the feeling, try to catch it, catch the mood. And you can do that by imagining what you'd say, think, and do if you got what you wanted. And when the feeling of reality possesses you, you fall asleep in that assumption. At that moment, you've entered a state. But hold up, you ain't done. I mean, you can be, but the problem is, is that you can enter a state, but not remain in it. In other words, you don't occupy the state and make it yours. And this is where a lot of people trip up not realizing this. Because the next step is, now you've got to make that state as natural as you've made your present state. And that's done by consciously going back to your new state constantly. By controlling your inner conversations, morning, noon, and night, making sure they match your wish fulfilled. Because in the beginning, it could seem unnatural, right? You're like, uh, I don't feel rich, at least not yet. But it's like when you're wearing new clothes. You think everyone notices it. You're so conscious about it. But then you wear it long enough to where it feels natural, to where it feels comfortable, right? And that's exactly what happens when you move into a new state. It's not natural at first. You're conscious about it in the beginning. But when you wear the state long enough as you would a suit of clothes and break it in, so to speak, to the point of naturalness, then health is yours. Wealth is yours. Love is yours. That's it. Folks, know what you want and assume it. Stand in its center and clothe yourself in its feeling and persist in it. Then just watch. It'll manifest in your world. Let it happen because you get what you believe. Yeah. Alrighty, guys, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. It helps support this channel and the bell right next to it to be notified on my next video. I pump these out every single week so you don't want to miss them. And if you're ready to live the life you really want, then yo, click the link below to learn more about Lava Assumption Mastery, how to manifest anything the Neville Goddard way. Like I always say, more's coming. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.